I love the sense of community. I love the independent stores and I love that we have customers looking for higher quality merchandise and ones that are actively seeking out um, the independent stores. We did consider uh, moving the store elsewhere and um, we found that none of us really wanted to work outside of downtown. This is where we wanted to come every day. It's nice to be downtown and in the mix and um, faster pace and things always changing. And the community in downtown, the foot traffic, and just the momentum that downtown is taking right now has uh, helped the business. We feel downtown is on an upsurge. It's at the beginning of some really great things. It's always been great. We feel we're right in, right in the cusp of great things happening, so we wanted to get down here. And walking to visit a client, to get lunch, meet for coffee, or whatever it might be. And of course, we love bringing people in here, and it's just around the corner from where they are. So it all works, it's just, it's just being in a heart. My wife and I and our, our kids, we have lived downtown now for quarter century, I think 25 years, 26 years, something like that. It's nice to be able to just walk downtown to a cafe or walk to work or, or kind of bike wherever you want. Being downtown, going to the shows, seeing familiar faces and, and telling them what you're working on, looking at what they're doing. You know, that, that can only happen, I think, in, in real space. And I came back from my last trip to New York in October and I said, there's this club in the West Village and it's just awesome. And um, it's around performance art, all different kinds of performance art. I said, wouldn't it be cool if we had one of those in Colorado Springs? And so I said, you know, since I we have all of the genres of music and nightclub and entertainment at night. I said, that is so doable. I think that would be, a, and I have the absolute perfect room. And this is how the mezzanine was created. Because a lot of times there'll be a group of business people that come after work. The fact that they could walk in the door, have a drink, um, do a little business, and then be um, part of an arts experience in an extraordinary venue like this. There are things starting to happen all over, little bits and pieces here and there. And it's, the, it's when you add up all those bits and pieces that things start to thrive. I wish that more people would come downtown and see what's going on. We've created a wonderful place to be. And that's what we want to do. We want to create a place. Not only is it wise to invest downtown, but if we don't have people investing in downtown and growing our downtown, we will never be a vibrant community economically. Downtown is largely locally owned and that is down to the buildings. And so all of that money, all of those transactions, all of that is staying within the community. Since we've opened our doors November 1st of last year, we've had about 33 walk-ins, and about half of those have bought or sold with us. Uh, this is gonna be the heart of the city. This is where it started. It's kind of an energy or a feel, and it's, it's maybe a hard thing to pinpoint. Because it's downtown, it belongs to everyone. There was a lot of work done that made it possible to come in and try to do something downtown. There's a lot of work to still do, and there's a lot of points to get connected and make sure that things match up, but we're getting there, and sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta build it.